Hello and welcome to Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits episode 139. My name is Meg and I'll be your host. You're joining me here in Frederick where it is quite warm again. Um, it is summer holding on of course in September. I always feel like it's supposed to feel cold. You know, it's supposed to be fall, but it hasn't been the last, I don't know, probably 10 years, but <laughs> in my head it's supposed to be fall. And so September 1st, you better bet your butt. I am going to be pulling out all of my orange wreaths and decorations and maybe even a few little pumpkins that aren't jack-o'-lanterns um, just because I like to get my, like to get my money's worth from September to mm, November. I, I like to keep up all of the fall stuff and then swap immediately into Christmas. <laughs> I do have a good time with that. Um, but as it is only our second season in the house and I did nothing last year, this will be like the first year that I'm actually gonna decorate a little bit. Um, I think I'm only going to do the living room and the front door so that I don't have too much to clean up later, but um, it will bring me joy. Uh, yeah, so if you are a new viewer, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. 139 episodes later, crazy. Uh, let's see, all right, we have coffee today. <laughs> if you are a returning viewer, this is no surprise. So I'm drinking a very full mug of Salted Caramel Bones Coffee Company. And first t sip, Ooh, that's really smooth. I take mine with too sweet and low in cream. Oh, that is smooth. Yeah. Actually, I'm getting a lot more of like not just caramel, but the salted caramel, if that makes sense. Also, with butterscotch, could be a good stand in for butterbeer coffee when I'm in the mood. That's good. I'm drinking it out of my Karakazic mug. Um, Karakazic Designs is linked in my description down below because people keep asking me and what hurts me to raise up another designer. So go check her art out, it's amazing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a huge fan, that'll do. Drank about half <laughs> have that sorry um yeah so uh we do have one knit along going on right now it is the bad wolf girl christmas in july 4 um this is bwg hashtag bad wolf girl um just to distinguish exactly who is doing it for my cow and not another cow i knit about 100 ornaments last week and by 100 i mean two four six eight ten eleven so uh, 11 ornaments last week. I got on another knitting binge this week. So, um, yeah. We have uh, that Christmas uh, cow going on. It is for um, anything that you would want done later on in the year. All I want is to take a little stress off of you from another month. That's about it. So if that, you know, matches up with something that jives with you, then great. Um, yeah, all right. So that cowl is going on. I will have some very fun prizes. Um, either skeins from me, skeins from other makers, all good stuff. <sighs> okay, so it is 8.27 already. I cannot believe this is the 27th of August. This is insane. This year, like for one, February took 9 million years. Maybe it was March. Maybe March took 9 million years. But February was pretty darn long, too. I think it was because my mom was moving and it was, like, really stressful for me. So that took forever. And then July just disappeared. And August is gone now, too. It's very just bamboo -doo. Could be because I've come out with a lot of designs recently and I've been very nose to the grindstone in pattern designing and drawing out uh, coloring pages and working on all sorts of like secret projects. Oh my gosh, I get to announce that now. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's been a busy year. So um, August already. Wow. I will be adding a new link down below. It will be to an Amazon book. It is called Knitting the Galaxy. 
I was one of the designers. Can you find my, my, my piece? It's on the cover. <laughs> I was so excited. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Just play that on repeat. <laughs> I am thrilled. I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> try not to say excited, but I really am. So it is in pre-order now. I know a ton of people have already just scooped it up and uh, we all appreciate that. Um, Tannis and all of the amazing makers. There is a list about yay long on Instagram of people that have been able to participate in this book. And we are all really excited. <laughs> So the link to the book in Amazon will be down below. This is my first pattern to be published in a um, hardback book, which is just very cool. And I cannot wait to add it to my shelf next to uh, Tannis's Harry Potter Knitting Magic book that she came out with before, which I found at Target, by the way. Um, yeah, so just if you would like one or just want to go check it out. Um, pretty cool. Yeah. So that is, that is my biggest news. I would say is that I've been sitting on that since like Thanksgiving last year. <laughs> ah, these books take forever to come out and not being able to talk about it drives you just a wee bit mad on the inside. Um, and that is kind of all of my admin. Uh, if you want to check out that, the Bones Coffee, the Karakazic mug, all of it down below. My dress is from Amazon. Um, it's just a uh, floral little wasted ruched thing. I live out of these. They're very light um, and airy, so they're great for just breathability and um, they're very flowy, which I love. Um, so yes, I, I do love these for summer and, um, I told you about my hair and I am wearing Maybelline matte ink in the lover, lover. Yeah. Lover color. Uh, and that's everything that's, oh, oh no. I'd also have Ardell eyelashes on cause they make me happy. That's all. That's everything. Let's get into knitting. So we're going into FOs of which I have several. I almost had a sock, but I don't, but I almost did. So what I do have is the ornament. So this is my Butterbeer mini pattern that came out in the Magical Ornaments collection. Um, I actually have been kind of uh, squishing it a little higher onto the ball itself. So it's a little low. Um, I, I did. I think I didn't do enough rows underneath the beer, and I, I did a lot of, above it. But um, adorable little beer steins here. This with a green background could be perfect for a St. Patrick's Day ornament if that's something you do on St. Patrick's Day, or um, if you wanted to do like shamrock shakes, you could do mint and green with the white. Lots of options. Um, I have some ideas that it would be very cute with like a white mug and like maybe brown at the top and then like red and green in the background and that would be like Christmas. I don't know. I think this is part of my ornaments collection. If you haven't been here before, please check out my shop on Etsy and Ravelry. The links are down below. Um, there are lots of ornament patterns there right now. Um, there's also a free download on my website and on Ravelry. Um, and it is just what I did um, for my next FO. It is just, this is sock yarn on a Christmas ball. So um, just makes a nice little memory. Also prevents it from breaking immediately when you drop it. That was a pretty cool experience. I dropped one last night and it didn't break. I don't know if I was just lucky or if the yarn took the impact in such a way that it didn't break. That's what I'm kind of thinking of. So um, I have my Halloween collection coming out. I will briefly show it now. Um, this is the 2019. So this is last year's. Let me 
hold it this way, last year's, um, and it is a trick or treat. So trick or treat was the set. This is an acid pop mini that's going out. So I'm just gonna take it off screen. Um, yeah. So trick or treat. These are uh, ones that I just dyed the other day. And then I will put in um, a photo of what this originally looked like. Uh, so I guess I'll just slide it over here. Um, so this new one is called On the Other Side um, from the song I've Got Friends on the Other Side uh, by the Shadow Man in Princess and the Frog. I did a Princess and the Frog mini skein set, which I absolutely loved doing. Um, I watched that movie repeatedly while dying and I just I love I love the music I love the animation and how it kind of goes back to the like like flat animation and then like the current animation oh my god it's it's really beautiful um if you haven't seen it it does get a wee bit scary for tiny ones at the end with with shadow man but if you're there they should be okay but yes it does get a wee bit scary I would have been scared I was a very easily scared child <laughs> Um, and so this is other side, all skeined up. It's doing all kinds of crazy things. If you're a Joker fan, this is also something that would be very good with a red mini. That's what my husband would see. But um, yeah, it does a fade from purple to green in there. Um, and I just figured you'd want to see kind of what it would do if you swatched it up. So I made an ornament. Also, I found the, the most perfect charm to go with it. So I left it on here so I would remember to tell you which one it was. It's the cookie from Simply Serving. Isn't it amazing? It's so perfect for this ornament. Okay, I can take it off now. I don't wanna forget it on here, but I had that on there. Perfect. Okay, so this is 64 stitches in the middle. You can see that it is doing a spiral flashing type of piece. As you go down, it will semi-stripe. So if you were knitting kid socks, say like 30 to 40 stitches, you would get striping socks. It would look like that. If you're knitting a shawl, it will just kind of wax and wane like waves i think um now this was a 50 gram skein this isn't exactly what a 100 gram skein will do because there's 50 more grams there's a lot more just stuff to happen so um this is an approximation i'm just giving you an idea i don't knit 60 whoa god <laughs> got caught on my hand 64 stitches i only knit like 56 stitches and for me it was coming out kind of like stripes I just did like a really small like cuff swatch um I would like to make some make a toe uh probably black though green is really nice with this it's um it's you know it's it's a good match but um uh, <sighs> I think I'll do black toes and then just start a single sock, which I know I said I wasn't doing anymore, um, but I kind of want to get a little further faster. Further, further, faster. Um, when I do, I want to do it a little bit faster. So I think knitting a single sock will do that for me. Mm, possible odds that it will never have a partner, but um, you know, I could do an afterthought, everything, just start at one toe, go all the way to the other side, end with another toe, cut it in the middle, start some cuffs. That way I know. I had 50 grams, like I said, 50 grams. I probably used about eight grams on this. So um, let's say I have 42 grams now. That would give everybody 21 grams. Ooh, look at me, math. <laughs> Wasn't hard math, but I'm proud of myself anyway. Um, so with heels toes and cuffs could get some nice shorties at least Ooh, shorties love shorty socks that's what i'll do i'll do shorty socks because i don't feel like knitting a whole pair of socks but when i start knitting it maybe i'll just enjoy it so much that i want to knit a whole pair of socks okay 
so then 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 um i went i took like a left turn into a bird's nest basically uh <laughs> yeah can i do this great questions great questions So let's taste the rainbow. Here we go. I started with red, but I have already gifted that bird because I've decided that my neighbor, baby neighbor, um, should learn colors. And what better way to learn colors than adorable squidgy birds? So uh, <laughs> she's like way too young for it, but still she loves squidging them. So I um, started with red and then moved into, I've got a uh, hot pink from Knit Picks. This is Pucker. I'll give you the names where I know them. Um, I don't know if I know all of them off the top of my head. If you went on Knit Picks and checked out Knit Picks Brava, this one is Knit Picks um, Mighty Stitch. Um, and it's, it's Pucker. It's different than Brava. It's softer. It's an 80-20, and this is definitely the most neon pink. And if you're looking for something for my unicorn sweater, this is it. This is it. This is it. So good. Um, I have orange from Knit Picks. Uh, just boop, boop, boop. I have, um, I don't know what the orange was called. It might be pumpkin. This one, I think, is called Caution. It's coming out cooler toned on the camera. It's a very orange yellow. I did buy canary yellow, which looks more like what I'm seeing right now. Um, and I haven't knit a bird in it yet, but I have um, that one. I'm gonna line them up so I can figure out what I did next. Um, all right, then we have alfalfa, which is one of the greens that I've been using for um, several sweaters. Um, from alfalfa, we have tranquil, I believe. Um, it's kind of like a sea foamy mint green. It's got some weird eyes. Um, the, the thing with knitting like 18 of something, you're going to have differences as you go on. Um, personally, I think that little set is just too adorable. Be great for Easter. They kind of remind me of peeps. Um, from there, we've got the green, which is grass from Knit Picks assume from knit picks for all of these please uh this one is marina which is um like a green it's showing up more blue yeah everything's showing up more blue so this is more blue on camera but uh it's actually a bit more green teal in there um do do do, do. then this one is celestial one of my favorite blues um it's my favorite baby boy blue Boop, boop. And I gave a second copy of this bird to um, my neighbor yesterday and it was so cute. She just sat there like squishing it and then she'd like flip it and then it would fall and we'd have to pick it up. And then she'd like pinch the nose and she'd like wiggle it a little bit. Precious. Made my entire day. It was so cute. Um, and then this one, it's not Lady Slipper. Mm. I'm not sure what this one is. Lady Slipper is what I did for my unicorn sweater. It's much more pink. This is like a, a light purple that they have. Um, and I am so sorry, I, don't, I really don't know. I haven't knit with it yet for anything else. I just pulled it for the birds, so I don't actually know what that color is. Um, from there, I have Eggplant, which is what my unicorn sweater is and goes really well with my nails. And uh, finishing it off, I have replaced my mom's bird that uh, she gifted her bird to somebody else. So I made her a replacement. It is out of the coral seashell. Ooh, I think it's seashell color. Um, and it's just like a, a corally pink, neon coral pink. Um, and this one is hanging so that uh, my mom can hang it on her window um the rest don't have ties because i even noticed as i was like playing with it the other day that i got my finger caught and pinching baby fingers is not something i want to do but this is just they're just perfect 
for little hands to like squish and poke. Um, this is the Bluebird of Happiness pattern. Um, it's free on Ravelry. Um, and you can see like the, the bird size kind of varies sometimes between like my gauge or like how much stuffing I put in them. But they're, they're all generally, generally the same. Um, but I have just had, I mean, such a good time. I can't even get them all, but like such a good time building a rainbow. Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. But yeah, oh my gosh. Ugh. Especially these blues in the middle, that little like green blue fade. Oh, love it so much. So what I wanna do for um, my niece is probably pick like the coral yellow alfalfa tranquil marina and light purple and make her like a pastel rainbow i think that would be very cute um and then i um will be keeping i'll need another coral bird and i'm just gonna keep all these for whenever for gifts i don't know like it's just they're so cute and easy and and like i know that they're they're safe, you know? You can just chuck them at people. Like Pat and I were throwing them at each other the other day and it doesn't hurt, it's fine, so. Those are all of my finished objects. Um, we're not surprised, right? That I just went on an entire tangent to knit 12 bird, how many are there? I can't even hold them in my hand, so that's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 birds. If I had only done three more, I could have had an even 20. So I'm having a blast. I have a hard rule now that before I start any project, I need to knit a bird with it. Um, I am, oh, I did measure. Oh, how much was it? Five grams? Three grams is not enough. I think the whole bird weighs seven grams. That's including the stuffing. Before I stuffed it, I forgot to weigh it. Um, including the stuffing. And I think the stuffing weighed two grams. So I needed at least four or five grams for a bird. Um, yeah, I think. Which isn't a ton to take from another project as long as you know you have enough. Um, I just, I'm finding such joy in this. Also, I had noticed there's a 20 gram mini set of Brava available on Nitpick's site for 20 bucks and you get like 25, 20 grams or something. Um, and they come like little nuggets and they, they're on little labels, they're so adorable. Um, and if I didn't already own most of the colors in large size, I would have scooped it up because it's just perfect for stuff like this, you know, doing my ornaments um, where it doesn't take much yarn. Oh my God, the birthday cake, I'm so excited. Um, doesn't take much yarn if you're doing things like, get this ornament in here, like this, like that white would be perfect. And then that way you wouldn't have to buy a whole ball of something if you don't already have it. So, um, if you're looking for something, it was like 20 bucks and it looked super cute. Super, super cute. Oh my goodness. Talk about a million miles a minute. Okay. Then, oh, so last week, I meant to show you. Last week, I went ahead and cast on an Excalibur hat. Um, and I got pretty well through it. And this is what's left. I am frogging it, but I wanted to show you. Um, I'm working out of asphalt. Um, asphalt charcoal charcoal and uh here is my folded brim i messed up somewhere because when i put it on it goes completely slanted it shouldn't it should be straight up and down like mm, that's closer there you go and <laughs> still closer okay um gets even more slanty so I think that this is as straight as I got it right in here, um, right there, maybe. Yeah, I started out fine and then I must have pulled it over and I started knitting the wrong, the wrong thing with it. My laundry is ready, I can hear it. Um, I'm not really gonna be able to put a, a band onto my hair today. I, 
yeah anyway so um it does not fit but it is squishy it is nice i actually probably would have done a few rows less i did i looked at it and was like it's not big enough and did a few rows more and then i was like mm, or it was <laughs> it was fine um i don't have a gray bird yet so um yeah it just it's 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 comical how bad it turned out but i figured i'd show a knitting fail like it has great stretch i mean look at that it could fit any it could fit any hat head <laughs> truly um this was the hundred i think medium Doo -doo. ah yeah so it's um uh this was a last week fail that i meant to show you and didn't get to and since it was still here figured i'd show you and then in my Ursula bag by Molly Klein Design, I have my What's It's Galore, which is a Felici color for this season. Um, I've gone ahead from, ooh, I am tangled. Una minuta. Okay, we're untangled. I've gone ahead, marked where my heel will be, and I think last time on the podcast, I discerned that I was going to go to the next yellow. I am pretty sure that my yellow is with my Moana sock because I used it here and this I finished. So um, I have a feeling that that is where the yellow is. But anyway, ta ta da. Um, nothing more to report on that front. Um, I just have gotten a little bit more done and I'm on the last stripe so I have one more stripe and then it will be yellow and then I can go ahead and get started on the cuffs and then we'll pop in heels and after that I'll have a finished pair of socks and it will be awesome so not too much to show but a few stripes it was four stripes so like if it was one two three it was if it was four stripes it would have been this much to show on one sock so it's, it's worth it but they are very cute. Um, I'm only gonna have one yellow stripe, which is just so weird to me. I guess it's cause I cut it a certain way and then I'm not doing it as long. And I only have like 50 some stitches, so it's not as big as others. Put that over there. Um, I do have a new cast on. Did I? Oh, I could have had a finished object. That was silly. Anyway. All right. So I do have this guy still. This is not the new cast on. Um, I had showed you I had a cuff last time. And I'm working through this. I think it's like a Blue Jay colorway from West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, and I have finished a toe. So, um, this is the whole two socks. I now have to split them. So it's kind of on hold for the moment because I didn't have my needles ready to split them. Um, but I will soon. I, um, kind of decided, so these are supposed to be birthday socks for Pat, but like I got in a package from my friend Georgianne where she had cranked some tubes for me and this was sitting on top and I fell in love and so I whipped it off and started a pair of socks for Pat out of the tube. So I used that asphalt gray color again, but this one is um, Patton's Croy. You can get it like Joann's or Michael's. It's, um, it's like a sports sock, it's a thicker sock. So it does kind of, um, this pulls in because of the ribbing, but the uh, toes bow out because it's a thicker yarn. That's pretty good here. Um, this is Scrumptious Pearl. I think. Is it Scrumptious Pearl? Or it could have been... What was the other one? The Yarn Jar. Yep, I think it was the Yarn Jar. It's one of my Halloween colors. So you can see it kind of bows out, but at, with blocking um, and wear, I don't think that that will be a major problem major problem and <laughs> I have gone ahead and done a heel or started it anyway so that's where I am now I am using my um, jack-o'-lantern cookie by simply serving making me very happy and I have um, started the heel I barely did I think I did two rows instead of six because I noticed that the toe got so deep and um, the sock is already a looser gauge than I normally would knit him. And I just didn't want him to have 
socks too big. So since I did such a big toe, I didn't push it too much on the heel. I went right into basically two, two rounds just to get it started and went right into the decreasing. Hey, I have a dog. Hey, doggo. Oh. Hi. Come here. I have a German short haired pointer named Gypsy. She is a good girl. She is a good girl. And she loves cookies. So she always comes down for cookies. But yeah, so I have, have all of this. I almost had a finished sock, but I didn't because I had other things to work on. So I also have a toe and cuff on the other one. It's just awaiting its heel. So I think that these will be about as tall as they are long, which is a little short for Pat, but I actually took 48 grams for myself to knit myself some socks because these are so beautiful. Um, mine had like a giant run in the tube, so I had to, I had to cut it and undo the whole tube. It had like four stitches that just dropped. Don't know what happened, but Anyway, I will just re-knit it because I think it's I think it's really pretty. But yeah, look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the yarn jar. I'm I'm pretty sure that's it. So I have two pairs on the nails for him. His birthday's coming up next week. <clears throat> as well as the Astraeus release. Um yeah, see, they'll be a little bit taller than they are long. That's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. And I have that in a little needle minder from Simply Serving, which I absolutely love. Um, I've been, I don't have it on right now, but I have been putting my socks into it. And I have it in my name bag, which I've blinged out a little bit. Look how cute everything is. I have a um, Maryland pin, Summer Sock Camp, Feminist, and Hallows. Um, which I just love. And then uh, my last work in progress is something that I actually just frogged back and then got back into position. So just to say that I have actually gone back and um, I ripped out what I didn't like about my unicorn sweater. So it's actually shorter than the last time you saw it. Uh, I ripped out what I didn't like and I went ahead and um, got them back on the needles and I have them here now. And I have been, I have been deliberating back and forth on whether I will wear this sweater as a acrylic DK weight. All the sweaters that I tend to reach for are fingering weight. And I have the Astraeus now, which is DK. It is a full length sweater and it has three quarter length sleeves. So I can wear it with pants and I tend to wear it that way. Um, I made my Sabrina sweater that I wore last week as a crop. Uh, I don't often grab it cause I don't really wear crops and it's just annoying that I don't wear it enough. So I've been debating what I'm gonna do with this. If I want to gift it, which I might, um, I'm hesitant to frog it because I really do like how it came out. I think it's fitting really well. Um, I think it's really cute. Um, so this is my last unicorn sweater, which is coming out um, Halloween. So we've got like six, 70, 90 days. Mm, golly, I can't think. It's it's October. So um, I had a rainbow mini that I did out of um, all nitpick stuff. No, yeah, nitpick stuff. And then I had the, um, it's like mint. Yeah, it is mint. A mint color for the unicorns. And then I used that purple again, that like lavender. Um, which is different than Lady Slipper, which is up here. You can see the pinkish and then the purplish. And then I had uh, Tranquil and Marina thrown in as well. Um, and I'm very tempted right now to throw some like shorter sleeves on it 
and then see how long I make the body, maybe a t-shirt. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I am, I am torn. And typically my answer is to myself, if it's not yes, then it's no. In general, it's yes, because I love the pattern, but I don't know if this yarn weight is what I really wanted to do. And I have a lot of yarn here. I have a lot of options that I could re-knit it in a different yarn weight. Yeah, I don't, bit torn. So uh, I think what I will do is throw some sleeves onto it, um, just a little bit and then some ribbing. And once I get those cap sleeves on it, I will try it on again and decide if I'm gonna make the body slug or if I'm gonna do a crop. And then if it's going to be a gift, got ideas. But I am bummed that I don't think that this is mine anymore. Oh, alas, alack, right? To do it. Things that have been going on with Bad Wolf Girl Studios. I have been uploading um, some new patterns. I had the Frida release um, that just came out. The uh, winners were chosen and gifted. I am still trying to get a hold of the friends that they tagged, um, but I did get the person that one. And then, um, yeah, we've still, uh, I did go ahead and put up the free PDF on my wrap, my, uh, website. So if you check down below, um, babwolfgirlstudios.weebly.com. I also rearranged the tabs at the top. So it will say patterns. You click that and then they're all at the top, all the, the clickable downloads that are um, coloring pages. Uh, if you would like to support me in my artwork, um, if you go to Etsy, it is a 20 cent download and then you can print it as many times as you want. Um, so if you would like to support me, that would be great, but you don't have to. Um, the free download is available there. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, so Frida went up, which is very exciting. And I'm working on the Astraeus. I have like a week, less than. I have less than a week. It comes out Tuesday. So um, I found some issues in Moonbeam. I'm working on that. Um, but other than that, the Astraeus itself will definitely be on schedule to come out. Um, and the Moonbeam might be added so slightly later um <clears throat> but you will have plenty to do in the meantime with the full adult pattern uh and there is a cowl that is included it is a different style chart than the one that you apply to the um yoke it was the first draft and so i thought i would make it into a cowl and somebody actually already knit it too um i'll have to ask her for another photo but yes so all of that to say, um, I have the Halloween colors up. We've got um, other side in the shop now. We've got tricks and treats that are in and you can add on a mini like that. Um, I have a few like pre-chosen minis, so I give you the options, but you could probably go over to my mini um, listing and, um, and add them in yourself. So, uh, all that to say, I do have one more thing. Uh, I don't have the whole advent calendar, but I do have some extra envelopes. Um, so I've got uh, just some some numbers. Um, some are 20 grams, some are 10 grams. Um, what I am planning on doing is I will put up just the individual mini skeins um, and you can buy yourself one, two individual envelopes to open on a special day for yourself. Um, I will include a, a digital download with each of those. Um, I think that's fair. And um, yeah, I will just, I'll put them up uh, this weekend, I'm hoping. I'll make a listing and then um, the way I'm gonna do it is I think I'll put it up by number. Uh, and I guess there's no harm in telling you what color that would be. So I'll, I'll copy the list of what they're inspired by, what their names are. I'll tell you their names and then you can choose based on the name and the 
color. If you don't want to know what it is at all, don't read the description. Just pick a number and check out. Yeah. All right. So that's everything. Um, none of them are sparkle, if that matters. Uh, none of them are sparkle. Anyway. Okay. And with that, I think that's good. I think that's everything. Um, Health-wise, I've been good. I've been using my fan a lot. Pat's painting the garage, hence there's a ton of stuff in here right now. Um, and I've just squeezed myself. I mean, like literally there's stuff up to my shoulder piled in here um, because we're painting the garage. So we had to gut the whole thing again and pull all the stuff that we had in the garage into here. So. But it's looking pretty cool. When it's done, I'll take photos um, and show you guys a little bit later. Uh, Pat's very, very cool with all the stuff that he's going to put up. So I'm excited. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to have some socks to work on. Um, I'm going to try to get these advents up. If I can, I'll try today. Um, and I'll try to get them up before. Or should I edit the podcast? Get it up. And then when you go... It won't be there yet. Um, should I set a time? Um, it's almost 12. So if I don't get this up today and I get it up tomorrow. Yeah. The musings. I will put a post up on Instagram and do a countdown. Um, let's say tomorrow. Uh, maybe around like 12 or 1. That might be okay for, or two for most uh, time zones. Yeah, say like two. Two tomorrow. On Etsy. Um, okay, so I've got some packages that are done and dyed and need to be squidged up and loved. I'm very excited to get them all done and out and get a few there. I'm hoping to dye a few things today. Um, I have some things on the drying rack. Someone ordered Thestrals and Golden Snitch for a sweater and I am so here for it. I just dyed it up yesterday. It's so good. <laughs> just like, yes, it's amazing. Uh, and I really want to get some socks done because I've got a deadline. Pat's got to get some socks and I need to fix some math on Moonbeam. So I'm also cleaning because I'm going to see my parents-in-law this weekend. Um, so yeah, I've just got lots to do. Got lots to do. And have another cup of coffee. So salted caramel. Pretty good. Not my favorite, but not bad. Um, I'm finding that I really enjoy the fruity flavors. So the chocolate raspberry, the um, jam jelly glazed jelly filled donut one that they just came out, Dust to Donuts, and um, their blueberry are some of my favorites. I also love the Frankenbones, which is hazelnut. Doesn't say it on the bag, in case you're curious. I did find that out. It's hazelnut. It's very good. And um, their uh, Jack Do Lantern pumpkin um, beer, no, coffee is really good as well. Uh, I just placed an order, so not ordering them yet, but as October gets around, I will be. Um, two of my favorites for the season. Absolutely wonderful. But I am enjoying it. Um, I've been really powering through dust all donuts, so I'm afraid that one's going to go first. Uh, but now I've tried them all. Yeah, so I had Macamaniac, dust all donuts, chocolate covered raspberry. Now I've got salted caramel. So I guess next week I will have a white Russian, which is um, coffee, flavored coffee, liqueur flavored coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, going with that. Mm. All right. So wishing you a very relaxing weekend and week coming up. I believe it's Labor Day weekend. So happy Labor Day. And I will see you guys next week. Yeah, see you next week. So, reminding you to take it one cup at a time, no matter how large that cup may be. And I'll see you next week. Bye.